Show. Uh, I'm changing channels as fast as I can. Well, you need to change faster. Ah, you missed it. Back, back. Back. Oops. Ooh, just in time. Oh, this is my favorite TV show ever. Captain Cosmos is awesome. It's the Captain Cosmos Show. Here we are, troopers. The next stop on our deep space adventure. Look at those rings! What planet are they on? Let's check my official Captain Cosmos space map! It's got all sorts of cool facts on it. Oh, here it is! Very big planet, rings around it. Looks like Saturn! It's a very far away planet. There are a lot of moons here, team. And it's our job to explore them all. Why are there so many moons? I've only ever seen one. Actually, Starling, some planets have lots and lots. Earth is the only planet in our solar system with just one moon. Hey, let's go on our own deep space adventure, just like Captain Cosmos, and see how many moons we can find. Yeah, now you're talking. As soon as the show's over, we'll... We interrupt this episode of Captain Cosmos for an important weather report. What could be more important than Captain Cosmos? A large solar storm is expected in space today. Watch out for its powerful effects. What's a solar storm anyway? When many explosions or solar flares take place on the sun's surface, it's called a solar storm. Um, maybe we should stay home until the bad weather's over. Hey, we can't let a little solar storm spoil our adventure, can we? Like Captain Cosmos always says, Have no fear! Adventure is near! That's right, Starling. Come on, you two. Huh? W what about me? One day, when you're bigger, you can come along too, Sprout. Oh, phooey. Booster rockets! Engaged! Wings! Back! Back. Space visors! Down! Launch sequence initiated. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Have, Have no fear! fear. Adventure is near! Breaking orbit! Space racers are no longer bound by Earth's gravitational field. Welcome to Space Racer Space News. I'm Maya McGuire here at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. Today, our space guest is Sunny Williams, an astronaut in the International Space Station. She's giving us a super special tour today. Now, we go to Sunny in Space. So right now, we're in the Japanese laboratory. It's one laboratory out of many here on the International Space Station. This is Columbus, the European module, and here we do a lot of our medical experiments. So this is Node 2. This is a really cool module. This is where four out of six of us sleep. Sunny, what's it like to sleep in space? Do you have a bed? Not really, because it doesn't matter. You don't really have the sensation of lying down. Um, but it's pretty comfy. I've got a sleeping bag right here that we sleep in, so we don't have a, sort of like a little bit of a cover. We don't fly all over the place. Gather round, cadets. 
I know everyone's excited about Sandpiper's mission to Sedna, but we've got wheel lunges today. Come on, Coach. How can we think about doing exercises when Sandpiper is scheduled to return any minute? Sandpiper is so amazing. She's my hero. Hey, I thought I was your hero. I heard Sandpiper landed on Sedna, and she's bringing back core samples. What is Sedna, anyway? It's a dwarf planet, about the size of Pluto's moon Charon, but three times farther from the sun. No one's been out that far before. Oh, cool. All right, all right, settle down, kids. I can see we're not going to be doing any lug lifts today. Sandpiper is one of Stardust Space Fleet's greatest explorers, holder of the Neptune Marathon record, and returning from a deep space mission to Sedna. In fact, she should be entering Earth's atmosphere right about now. Attention, all personnel please report to Mission Control. We have a Level 1 emergency. Uh, class is canceled. Mayday, Mayday! My thrusters are not responding. Mayday, Mayday! I have complete engine failure. Repeat, engine failure. I'm going down. Sandpiper requesting assistance. I need help. We know she went down somewhere in the ocean around this location. Is her radio still transmitting? No, we've lost all contact. Well, let's go find her. No, Eagle, wait. There is an additional problem. At the depth where Sandpiper went down, the water pressure is too great for any of us to withstand. I don't understand. Isn't it just water? Ah, but water is much heavier than air, Cadet. Our bodies can travel through the vacuum of space, or with the weight of the air on us. But if we go too deep underwater, the pressure is like having the entire ocean on top of you. Here, I'll demonstrate what we're talking about. Observe what happens to a barrel of fuel as it sinks to the bottom. See? The heavy weight of the water creates pressure great enough to damage even a steel barrel. If Sandpiper sank to the bottom of the ocean, she could be seriously injured. So we need to rescue her. But how? Ideas? Suggestions, anyone? Today's space quiz is all about oceans and outer space. What do Earth's oceans and outer space have in common? Is it A, they both have or feel like they have lower gravity? B, to visit them, we need our own heat and air supply. Is it C, both are still largely unexplored? Or D, all of the above? The correct answer is... D, all of the above. Space and oceans are actually very similar. The depths of our oceans are still largely unexplored, just like the universe. We know they're there, but we don't know exactly what's in them. To help us explore either place, we have to bring our environment with us. Oxygen to breathe, heat to stay warm, and some comfort in which to live and work. In fact, NASA and the other space agencies train their astronauts in vast pools of water to simulate the conditions of outer space. There are even crews that train for space missions by living in the ocean for days at a time. So if you pick D, all of the above, you're a Space Quiz Whiz! Say hello to Eagle, the leader of the Space Racers. The Eagle has landed. He's super fast and super quick on his wings. <laughs> he loves to play Orba, which is a kind of Frisbee sock, but in space. Shh, this is a secret. Eagle enjoys collecting weird looking rocks from all around the solar system. Exploring and racing are some of his favorite things to do. This racer has a need for speed. Sa -sa -zoo! 